on me. Lead. Lead. This mohawk ain't working out on TV. Hey, welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. I'm Lisa. To, uh, today is Friday, November the 8th. And um, Sunday on November the 10th is National Forget Me Not Day. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, I always get kind of sad around these two days. Um, our veterans have done a lot for us. Ac yes, they, absolutely. They, they really have. But this, this day actually started in 1921 wow. to remind us of the sacrifices that all of the soldiers have made. Oh. So you can observe this day by sending a veteran a forget-me-not flower or a package of the seeds for them to plant letter, later. I don't think I know what a forget-me-not looks it's like. It's those little purple um, flowers, almost like um, maybe an African violet. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They may even look like uh, like a bluish color. Uh -huh. They're real pretty. Nice. So just honor um, a veteran today and thank them um, for their service and um, let them know um, that you appreciate everything they did and most of all welcome them home. Yes. And if you get a chance um, to go to the NACA website on there. I wrote an article, um, it's been about two years ago and I believe it's still up. And it was about, um, we were in Washington, D.C. at the conference. Mm -hmm. And um, the previous November, I had the opportunity to go to a luncheon with some of the veterans from Missouri Veterans Home in St. James. And we had a speaker there and some of the things that he said, it was very um, touching, but it was also very disturbing at the at the same time. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, he talked about how the Vietnam soldiers were spit on. They were oh, called. Oh, they weren't welcomed mm -hmm. home at all. They were called horrible. baby killers. Yes. Yes. And while we were in Washington D.C. Um, after the conference, um, some board members and I, we were at the Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. War Memorial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, it was very touching. There was a lot of veterans there and they were placing reefs. That's the one with the, all the mm -hmm. names. Yeah. It was, it, very, is, it was very beautiful. It is very, mm -hmm. very sobering mm -hmm. because we hear about Vietnam. Some of us can remember some about it. But to go and see all of those names really makes you think about mm -hmm. all of the men and women who lost was, their lives. And it was neat to see how um, there was still parts of like a company and they were there honoring, um, you know, the men that they fought with. I right. mean, so that was nice wow. to see. But just go and check out the article. And while you're on there, there's some also other articles from um, CNAs that are on there. And um, we always tell you to send in um, your stories. So um, please do so because um, we would like to have those as well. But and, you know, here in Missouri, mm -hmm. we have the Missouri Veterans Homes. Yes. That um, it, they are uh, skilled nursing facilities mm -hmm. for veterans, male and female. Yep. And um, Corinne spent a good part of her life serving yeah. the veterans. Mm -hmm. um, Twelve years yes, at St. James. Yes, yeah. But we have veterans in all of, in all of yes. the homes. Mm -hmm. They don't go just to veterans homes. So chances are, if you work in long-term care or possibly even home health, home definitely health. assisted living, you're yes. going to have some veterans in your care. And and let's make sure that we we honor them and give them the respect that yes. they're due. And yeah. um, yes, I don't care when they came home, welcome them home because many of them That's did right. not get a good homecoming when they came home. Exactly. So just remember them um, on this Sunday, but also remember them every day, just not mm -hmm. um, for this day and Veterans Day that is coming up. And uh, remember that they matter. And of course, you matter. Yes, you definitely matter.